Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. Cat Williams has spoken out on whose cocaine was in the White House. And we all know whose cocaine is in the White House. Because when they stop the investigation after about 10 days, and you tell me the most secure building in the United States of America, we can't find out who cocaine it is. Cat Williams says it belongs to Hunter. Same thing I said when it first came out. Either it's Ashley's or Hunter's. My guess is it's really Hunter's. But this is the kicker. You mean to tell me the same FBI who says they're going to stop a terrorist attack and the border's wide open, the same FBI who said they couldn't find out how the fella drowned in the pond behind Barack Obama's house when he was about six feet tall, he drowned in eight feet water, and he swam like a fish. This is the same FBI who could not find who the cocaine belonged to. This is the same FBI, allegedly, that was tricked by a phony dossier. You can't make this stuff up. But I want you to listen to Cat Williams make jokes about it. Now, his language is a little salty, but he's absolutely right. It's obvious who the cocaine belongs to. Take a listen to Cat Williams making fun of Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. This is what comedians used to do. The truth is crazy enough, you ain't got to make up no shit. I don't say something to you that sounds like a motherfucker made it up and it's really in the news. The FBI, our FBI, the Federal Bureau, of investigation said they don't know whose cocaine <laughs> was at the White House. <laughs> what? What type of investigation did you do? I don't know what the fuck is going. We don't know whose it is. It was in Hunter Biden's room. It said Hunter's glow on the bag. <laughs> what do you mean who's cocaine? <laughs> We done lowered the bar so low for Joe. As long as Joe don't fall, we be fine. Go on and get up them stairs, Joe. There you go. That's a boy. I'd like to thank Tracy Chandler who gave us $10 on our cash app. Mark Andrews gave us $10 on our PayPal. YRMA. Irma gave us $10 on our cash app. Doug Scott gave us $5 on our PayPal. And Norman Neese gave us $10 on our PayPal. God bless you guys and thank you for all your support. Funny. That comedians, Joe Biden is a comedian's uh, uh, dream come true. He's the gift that keeps on giving. If these talk, talk, late night talk show hosts and these comedians had any backbones and wasn't worried about being woke, telling us unfunny jokes, trying to go out their way to make fun of Donald Trump, you can make fun of Donald Trump if you want to. But why are they not making fun of Joe's or Biden? Like, we know who cocaine is. It was in the white. It's not a conspiracy. Just like it's not a conspiracy that we knew for a fact that the virus from the Wuhan lab was made in a laboratory and they allowed it to come over here. That's not a conspiracy. Just like this is not a conspiracy. JFK. 
I mean, anybody you read with any little common sense can see that it was a setup that they knew who was doing it. But see, you have to get the mindset of a little like art of war. You may want to get the mindset because you may even want to get it in hardback, just in case. <laughs> because we're living in a time that seems to me to be like 1984. This is what you're living in. And the reason we're living in this time is because of all the corruption, extortion. These people lie continuously. We know it was uh, Hunter Biden's uh, cocaine from the minute they started the investigation. Has cocaine ever been found in the White House before the Bidens entered in? Entered in? No, because Joe Biden's trash, Jill Biden's trash, Hunter Biden's trash, Ashley's trash, Bo's trash, the grandkids trash, the mammy and their daddy, all of them are trash. And you got the nerve to say, the grown-ups are back in charge. No, the pervs are back in charge now. And everybody knew it was Hunter Biden's dope the first time. Just like we knew that the FBI knew that they were lying about Russian collusion. Just like we know the FBI was lying about if it's Hunter Biden's laptop, they got a copy of it, had it since 2019. Christopher Ray shows up and tells us how many people want to join the FBI. That means, I mean, there's people want to join porn site. What the hell has that got to do with anything? People want to join the FBI. That means that y'all not corrupt. No, we've caught you lying. What, what's the approval ratings of the, of the FBI? Probably just as low as Joe Biden's approval records. Nobody trusts anything that they say at this particular point. You mean to tell me that they ran up in Mar-a-Lago on a former president who had Secret Service bodyguards there, but they didn't run up on Joe Biden. They even warned him and tried to slow walk the investigation. Now I'm supposed to believe we didn't know whose dope was in the White House? Are you kidding me? The camera stopped working? Oh, this makes a lot of sense. They're so sloppy now or either we're getting smarter, but they're so sloppy now that they don't even try to pretend. They just say, we're going to do away with the investigation, and nothing ever happens to them. When you don't punish criminals, this is what happens. Just like we know, the lover of men, Barack Hussein Obama, had something to do with the chef that drowned in the pond behind his house. You got to be kidding me if you think that guy really drowned in a pond. He can swim. Are you kidding me? Who cares if you have a life jacket? There's plenty of people swimming. I never swam with a life jacket. What are you talking about? That dude cannot swim me. So I know damn well he didn't drown in the pond. There's no way I'm drowning in the eight feet water. Never. Under no circumstances. But he drowned. Unless somebody gave him some. Plus all his clothes was missing. Explain that to me. Oh, we know. Obama wasn't on site. Then he was there for the interview of the witness. Did we ever find who the witness was? Oh, they lied about that too. Hmm. I supposed to trust what they say. Yes, we know who cocaine was at the White House. Give me a break.